Hey everyone, it's Jonna from Tudor N. Um, I realize this is already a very funny picture to look at, but I promise you this is my drawing or my rendition of the pituitary gland. So we have our anterior pituitary gland here. I'll just put it A and our posterior pituitary gland here. And we actually have a part that I would say we don't learn about too much um, because it's a little bit rudimentary in uh, humans, but we have a intermediate, kind of a middle gland. So I'm gonna make this squiggly uh, green line here. And it's more like a thin layer of cells between the anterior and posterior pituitary glands. So this would be our intermediate. Um, most of what it does, which really is one thing we're gonna talk about in a minute, is attributed to the posterior gland, but truly it does arise from this little layer in between the both. So I realize that endocrine is a topic that most students don't like, at least the students that I come across for that, that need tutoring help, for instance. Um, but as far as the pituitary gland goes, it is a pretty important gland and it's a major player in our endocrine system. And there are a lot of different hormones that it controls. And that oftentimes is what trips up a lot of students. Um, specifically when you're getting ready to take a test in endo and you're having a hard time remembering what hormones go where and just the basic about what they do. So remember that all of my tutorials um, really focus on getting you to understand the basics because I promise you that you can understand anything and you can process anything if you know the basics of what it does. So with this in particular, with the pituitary gland and remembering the hormones that arise from it, that come from it, I have a funny little acronym that I use. So I'm gonna to talk to you about what that is because hopefully it's gonna help you to remember the hormones and what they do. So with the anterior pituitary gland, there's something that I keep in mind. Your anterior pituitary gland is bigger than your posterior. So with that said, it's gonna have more hormones. That's how I rationalize it. Now I have a funny acronym that I use and I'm gonna write that here, TP flag. When there's something that I have to remember, and it's a lot, I like to try to make an acronym for it so it can help me to remember all the things that go into it. So for the anterior pituitary gland, I have an acronym that I use and I teach, and it's called toilet paper flag. And it's silly and crazy, but just because it's silly and crazy is why I always remember it. And toilet paper flag reminds me what hormones come from the anterior pituitary gland. So each letter, T, P, F, L, A, G, stands for a hormone. So I have my TSH, that's my T. I have my prolactin, that's my P. I have my FSH, that's my F. I have my LH, that's my L. I have my ACTH, that's my A. And then I have my GH, that's my G. So if you look at it, this, these are the letters here of my acronym, toilet paper flag. And so I remember that these are the hormones that come from my anterior. Now my posterior is smaller. So for me, I remember if it's smaller, it means that it has less. And so it's got less hormones coming from it. And what hormones does it have coming from it? I remember this, any other. And this serves as a reminder too, my A and my O. My A is my ADH hormone, and my O is my oxytocin hormone. So I remember that any other comes from my posterior. Now this middle one that we talked about, this little layer intermediate, this has our MSH. A good way to remember that is the M middle. And that's our melanocyte hormone, or melanocyte stimulating hormone. You might see it written as that as well. So this is a fun way that I like to remember the hormones that come from the pituitary gland so that I don't forget it. I'm able to commit it to memory in a more fun way than just trying to read it a thousand times. And I always remember the hormones because I always remember this silly type of acronym that I put together. So in looking at this, I'm able to kind of quickly remember, okay, these are what the hormones are. Uh, these are where they come from, and this is what they do. So I know my thyroid stimulating hormone has to do with my thyroid gland, right? I know my prolactin's gonna act on the ovaries, the mammaries, um, estrogen, progesterone, uh, milk production, 
my FSH or follicle stimulating hormone that's going to act on my gonads and that has to do with the growth of my reproductive system. LH is going to work on my gonads too. That's going to work on my growth of my sex hormones. ACTH, adrenocorticotropic. What's that going to do? That's our adrenal gland, right? We have the, the term in it. So our androgens, our glucocorticoids, GH, my growth hormone, thinking of growth, right? Cell growth, tissue growth. And then my any other, my ADH, well, we know ADH, we talk about that a lot. That's our antidiuretic hormone. So it's going to work on my kidneys, my arterioles. It's going to um, cause water retention. It's going to increase blood pressure. Oxytocin, I know that's going to work on the uterus, and that's going to work on the mammaries as well. That's going to help with uterine contraction. That's going to help with lactation. And the MSH, or the melanocyte stimulating hormone we talked about, this one in the middle, and think about melanin, right, our skin color. So the more that's, that is stimulated, the more that's produced, the darker skin tone that we have. So I hope this is helpful to you when you're trying to, you know, study your endocrine system and when you get to the pituitary gland and you're like, what the heck, there's so many hormones, how am I going to remember this? This is something that I recommend that's pretty easy and fun to do.